Okay, today we're going to let, do lesson 10-2, which is associative property of multiplication and distributive property. So associative property just means if I have 3 times 2 times 4, that I can either I can either multiply 3 times 2 first or multiply 2 times 4 first. But I'm going to get the same answer. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 4, which is 24. And 2 times 4 is 8 times 3, which also equals 24. Distributive property means if I have 7 times 6, we learned this in the beginning of the year. It's been a little while. But if I have 7 times 6, it means that I can break this 7 up into 5 and 2. And if I can go, I can leave my 6 the same and I can break this 7 up into 5 and 2. So 5 times 6 is 30 plus 12, which is a total of 42. And 7 times 6 equals 42. That's one we haven't done in a while, but we're going to use it to help us with our multiples of 10 today. So if we take our worksheet here, 3 times 2 times 5, 3 times 2 times 5. So what they're saying is I can multiply the 3 times 2 first and then multiply it by the 5, or I can multiply the 2 times 5 first, then multiply by the 3. Either way, I'm going to get the same answer. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 5, which is 30. 3 times 2 times 5. I'm going to multiply 2 times 5 first and get 10 times 3, which is 30. Okay, distributive property. The fancy way of doing this is to decompose a factor. So factor times a factor equals the product, right? So, and we talked about this before, I think it's super silly to decompose anything when you have a five because you're able to count by fives seven times and get the answer to that. But on a, a uh, problem like six times eight or six times seven or um, you know some of those harder ones, seven times eight, uh, where you're stuck and you're just not sure what to do, um, then you can, you can use a distributed property, break it up into smaller ones. So seven times five. Okay, what they're saying is, Seven is made up of three plus four, right? Three plus four, basically like we would do like this. Three and four equals seven. So we're going to break this up into, here's where our five is staying the same. And we're breaking this three up into three and four, right? So three times five is 15 and three times four is 20, which equals 35. Okay, don't worry about those. So, let's use the associative property to group the factors. Okay, we have 7 times 60. What they've done is they say, let's break up 60 into 6 times 10, right? So, we have 7 times 6 times 10. So, now we can go 7 times 6 first, right? 7 times 6 times 10. So 7 times 6 is 42 times 10 is 420. Remember how we just bring the zero over. So it's the same as doing this. 7 times 6 is 42 and then multiplying that by zero. You don't really have to break it down that far, but you do have to multiply the first two numbers and know that when you are multiplying that this is 6 times 10, right? So what you're doing is 7 times 6 is your 42, and then you're multiplying 42 times 10, which is you just put a 0 at the end, okay? So find 4 times 80. Decompose a factor. They want you to write 4 as 2 plus 2, okay? So 2 plus 2 times your 80. So here's our 2 and our 2 and our 80 and our 80. So 2 times 80, 2 times 8 is 16, 
plus the zero, so that's 160 and 160. So it equals 320. Now, if we knew that four times eight is equal to 32 and bring our zero over, bam, there's our answer, right? So let's take a look at five times 90, okay? So we can break this up into five times nine times 10 right? Because nine times 90 is nine times 10. So five times nine equals, write it down, five times nine, you know, five times 10 is 50. So five times nine, it's 45 and bring your zero over 450. Let's do a couple on the back here. Okay. Let's do two times 70. Okay, 70 is equal to 7 times 10, right? So you basically have 2 times 7 times 10. So 2 times 7 equals, write it down, 14. 14 times 10, just bring your zero over, it's 140. Okay, let's do 3 times 50, you work that one out, pause it and come back. Okay, three times 50. Okay, 50 is equal to five times 10, right? So three times five, write the answer down. This is three times five times 10. So do three times five first. It should be 15 and bring your zero over, 150. All right, I want you to do six times 40 and eight times 20. Pause it, do both of those and come back. Okay, six times four is 24 and bring your zero over. So six times 40 is 240. Eight times two is 16 and bring your zero over. So eight times 20 is 160. Good job.